Alright everybody, so today I'm reviewing the AMT 1929 Ford Woody pickup truck. So, the box here is really cool artwork here. It's got the custom pickup Woody. It's got the uh, the nice panel van Woody. Not it's a panel van, but the wood sided, uh, what you calls it. And uh, the side here, it's got a little hot rodded version of that. Same thing. It's got a cool bike it comes with. Over here, it shows the picture and it's on the cover again. Cool decal sheet. You can build up the old school pickup truck. And there's the uh, the normal version of the uh, the Woody. All right, so I'm reviewing this. Ooh, box doesn't fall. I'm actually reviewing it as the custom here, um, the custom pickup truck. So it comes with a lot of parts to do. In fact, here's a whole box full of parts that's left over. So I did it the custom way, and I'm not reviewing it the stock way. The, just just keep in mind this is the custom because I had a couple problems with the custom version, but looking at the stock pieces, it looks like the stock pieces is everything it needs. This is a little, eh. but I'll show you what it uh, looks like here. Uh, I showed you the box full of uh, spare parts that's left over from doing it. The instructions here, iffy at best. It looks like they were pieced together from multiple instructions. The engine does not give you headers for the custom version, but it does for the uh, uh, stock version. Uh, it gives you the wheels, the tires. Just mysteriously, the engine happens to go into the uh, the chassis, which it doesn't tell you how to do it. I flip it over. I mean, there are parts missing out of this. So, instructions. If you know how to build a model car, you know how to do this. So, let me show you what I got. Uh, let me give you a little background. First of all, we were at, um, me and my girlfriend were at the hobby shop, and she liked the image of the box, and she's like, I really like that. She goes, I, I, I would like to see that built. So I said, okay. So she picked out a real nice orange, which um, was one of the testers enamel. In fact, it's right back here. That is the testers flaming orange. Not enamel, extreme lacquer. My bad. Extreme lacquer. So picked that out, put it on. I did it over a primer because she wanted it a little darker, not the uh, the bright orange. So uh, this is what I got. Let's go down and take a look at this car. So the car itself actually looks fairly good once it's built up. Um, it's got its problems. It's not the best model kit in the world. Okay, so it comes with a little Schwinn Stingray bike. I think this is really cool. Uh, it's just a couple parts you put together, the wheels, uh, tires, put two halves together. Really freaking sharp. I broke the pedal off on that side. But this is really cool. I like that. I put it in the back because that's what the image of the box has. All right. So here's my car. It's done completely the stock way, almost off the box. Uh, like I said, engine, under detailed, has no headers whatsoever on it. So the exhaust literally goes into nothing. And as I'm looking at it, I lost the, uh, let's put this down. So, oh, the tire fell off. Um, I had these little uh, extension pieces here. Goes into nothing. Uh, the rear end, I didn't have the rear end on the kit. I don't know if it came with the kit or didn't come with the kit or if I lost it or what. But luckily, I had somebody in the modeling community uh, help me out with that. Um, Mr. DD from uh, Model Cars. Um it came off the 1925 AMT Ford, which the one difference was, was uh, this one has the metal axle that goes through it, whereas the uh, this particular kit has the little pegs to put into the wheel. So I super glued the crap out of the tires, and one of the tires fell off just now. So, not a very detailed anything going on here. Uh, the flames came with the kit. Uh, there was a real nice decal sheet. I have it right here. Um... Comes with different flame. Uh, it comes with different flames. The eight ball, flame and skull. That's kind of cool. Uh, did the purple because purple matches with orange. Uh, the front headlights sit a little forward. Those didn't go on very well. This is an old AMT kit. There was a lot of flash going on on it. it is what it is, right? To clean it up, do yourself a favor, right? Um, interior. A little under detailed, but it's okay. So, I would like to do this kit again as the um, 
Uh, like I said, I know it's got enough parts in it, but my review is for the custom version. So, for the custom version, my overall review is, eh. Does it build up nice? Yes. So, anyway.